and welcome back I've been shopping a little bit again I bought these two jars today because I was in my almost clothes art store there's a, a good art store where in the town where my sister lives and we were visiting today so took my niece in there and I bought these two because they are they are on clearance and what they are is that they are Royal Talents extra fine quality gouache and if you watch my video about what gouache is and uh, all the names for it they are all here on this glass the top word is Dutch I'm not gonna try and pronounce it but I know it means poster paint then there's gouache with big letters in German it says designer tempera farbe designer's tempera color and color colores tempera uh, in French I assume so all names one product anyways these this should be the top of the line uh, gouache they have others but this was the one I picked um, they are not going out from the company it was just that that particular art store have had them for a long time they didn't sell them and as soon as they put them on clearance they sold as hotcakes at my more local art store where I don't have to drive two hours each way I got this one and it's the same but in a tube and this is a light red the two others is a permanent rose magenta and an ultramarine light um, I don't have here in my box where I keep my professional gouaches I have a primary blue and a primary red and this is a phthalo blue and this is a magenta so it's not out of order to have either of the other colors the magenta here is maybe a little bit uh, yeah that resembles this one a lot probably but hey I took what I could get and the reason why I wanted some other reds was because um, last time I used this other than the tube kind of exploding all over the other tubes and that was my mistake um, this is marked as being semi opaque but it is really quite transparent so I wanted to see if I could find a red that was less transparent so let's hold on to that one for comparison um, I don't really feel the need to compare the blue to anything because it's a blue on its own and who doesn't like an ultramarine so let me grab a brush and let's grab a marker try and paint the more a black line that's always quite a good test for opacity I could use black paper too but that is a lot more expensive than this paper which is a piece of scrap paper and um, it doesn't show anything that this won't Let's see if I can even get this one open um, camera pause okay needed a little bit of strong handling this I should clean the cap and the, the tube let's put a bit out here it's maybe seems extra transparent because it's separating in the tube as well so, that's okay. so let's try this light red it's definitely a different color and let's try this one a nice dark color so it actually doesn't look too much like the magenta from Winston and Newton. Um, the brush is a little stiff from yesterday's use nah, that is kind of transparent too 
I like the color though. It's a two pigment uh, color. It's uh, PB19 and PR122. But that's okay because they're both kind of in the same color family. Water just turned totally pink. <laughs> it's water over here. And good. I think we got the brush kind of clean now. We got water. So let's check this red out. Opaque reds is a problem if it's not a cadmium red. It's really difficult to find opaque reds. This one has no opacity information on it. So. It is more opaque than, than the magenta. Magentas are, are even worse than clear reds. It's a nice warm red. And it's just all over my brush. There we go. So here goes Winston Newton. I'm gonna mash this up a little bit because it was separated from the tube. See how transparent that is because I I, I did get some pigment out. Well, that is. Uh, my tube, at least, seems to be very transparent. And <coughs> if you just plan for it and put the transparent color down and put whatever other colors you want around it or on top of it, it is okay. It's just kind of annoying when you have forgot you should paint something red and you can't really paint it on top of other things because they shine through. I fixed it by putting a layer of white down first though and then the magenta on top or my magenta mix on top so it was not that it was impossible to to save my mistake it had just been easier if the red had been just somewhat trans uh, opaque. So let's leave this to dry. I want to try the the blue as well. This is separated a little bit. Not too much though, so I'll just leave it. I think it's sad for a long time in the store and that's why they put it up for, for clearance. Just a fine. I think this color is often sold actually as a French ultramarine. It's a little more intense than the generic ultramarine colors. I want to try to mix it with that red. Gives a very nice dark purple. A little dusky because uh, it's a warm red. They feel quite nice to to paint with, but they got a little bit of a scent. Um, it's not unpleasant, but I I'm gonna mention this with some of the art supplies I use because some people are very sensitive to to smells. Um, and uh, this. 
I, th I think it has kind of an arty kind of smell to it. It's not too bad, but it's there. Uh, the Winds and Newton paints doesn't smell of anything at all. So if that is an issue to you, then there you got it. Oh. This magenta here. Please reactivate a little bit for me. And here we get the bright violets because that is the warm, warm red. Oh, the cold red, sorry. If I put them together, you can maybe see the difference. They dilute nicely with water and they feel kind of easy to paint with, so I'm looking forward to using them. And uh, if I like them, that will be the brand I go on with because they're much, much easier for me to get and a lot cheaper than the, the Winston Newton paints. This one cost me less than this one and there's 14 milliliters in this one, but 20 in this one and there's 50 in the glasses. I don't know what the normal price for these are though. Um, the lady said that they're considering uh, <laughs> taking them off clearance and, and just have them in the regular inventory again now that people have discovered that they are there so, and, um, and I talked to her because there's also like it seems like gouache has a little bit of a revival in, in the art communities around the world you see it more and more on YouTube for instance uh -huh. this will be my test this far I am really quite happy with this and I actually think I might like them better than uh, than the Winston Newton paints. That would be good. Paints I like better that are also cheaper and easier available. Hmm, who complains? Not me. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, please like, subscribe and come back. I will do more paintings. See you later.